A week into the stalemate and the traffic jam caused by long-distance trucks along the northern corridor has extended more than 50 kilometers. From Malaba to Kandui, truck drivers now forced to prepare and have their meals under their vehicles. With the Bukembe market inaccessible, their supplies running out fast. Residents now saying the gridlock is hurting the area's economy as it is exposing them to COVID-19. So wame tupea kazi ngumu kifika nyumbani hauna eni kama ni president wetu Uhuru Kenyatta afanye jambo waongee na Museveni kama watu wanakuwa cleared hata wakuwa cleared huko tu sipite tu siende hii ugonjwa tumeona ni kama iko tu na sisi public service vehicles forced to use long alternative routes that are sometimes dangerous passengers having to dig deeper into their pockets Area leaders calling on action from the government. Mheshimiwa Mutai Kagwe, waache masungumuzo mengi kila siku kwa TV na kwa radio. Hiyo pesa tumekupatia tumia kununua mashini weka Mombasa, Miritini na ingine kuja Malaba kupima wa Kenya wale wanaenda sehemu zingine wasisumbuliwe. Kama waziri hiyo matangazo peke yake haisaidii hii nchi. Tunataka action. Action kwa boda kama hii ya Malaba tunataka action ya kupimwa watu wetu tumia hizo pesa kwa ile kazi ambayo tulipitisha the government has however revealed that delegations from the east africa community will tuesday meet at the malaba border to craft a solution to the test delays tomorrow there will be a meeting between uh, the eac state ministers and they'll be discussing as to how we can improve the situation at the border however it's important to note that what we're trying to put in place are mechanisms that one that ensure the safety of all citizens in all the eac countries you find that one country has been able to put this particular measure in place that is what is leading to our problems. But even today, there's a team of PSS who are at Malaba to be able to address these issues. And basically because we have agreed that all of us are going to test, it's just a question of operations to be able to ease that uh, backlog. The long-distance truckers Sunday packed their vehicles in protest at the delays in getting results of their COVID-19 tests and alleged harassment by Ugandan officials. They claim that one of them was killed in cold blood in Uganda. Hasimugambe Citizen TV.